Well, just continuing with the videos in this video series here. I, so I had to put a uh, new to this engine uh, intake valve in as well as uh, tap it. But uh, I put it in, I noticed it wants to spin around all the time. It doesn't matter what position the camshaft is in. So that means that uh, the tappet clearance isn't correct. I, basically you'd have to shorten the valve or the tappet. So generally speaking I shorten the valves. So uh, I use my uh, grinder here and I will uh, fire that up here. Take like a look at the camera there. I don't do that very often. See some sparks flying here. get noisy here. just to uh, go in a circle and uh, make sure that you uh, get it as flat as you can on the end. Uh, you could perhaps do the same thing by clamping the, the valve in the vise and uh, using a uh, regular uh, hand grinder, uh, whatever you have, but uh, just be easy with it because uh, on the intake valve on this one there's only 5 to 7 thou clearance. So uh, you'll take that much off uh, pretty quick. So anyway, just wanted to uh, show you there. And, and when I um, uh, get a lot of engines from the scrapyard, I find that a lot of them have that problem. That uh, perhaps that's why they were taken out of service was because the uh, the valve tappet clearance closed up over time as the valve sank down into the seat, and uh, then all of a sudden the engine doesn't have any compression, so it can't run. So anyway, just to show you how I. Uh, how I uh, set the clearance the way that it should be.